am thankful to you for inviting me to speak to your BSc botany final year students at the time of departure from the college on completion of three year degree program involving botany, chemistry and zoology. Incidentally, it is COVID-19 period and we are all under lockdown in order to contain spread of the pandemic and therefore I am speaking from a place of stay in Goa. My dear students, on completion of your final year degree examination, you will soon go out of portal of this great institution. I am confident that this three years intense learning of plant sciences, everything under the sky from microbes such as algae, fungi and viruses to lower plants such as bryophytes, teredophytes and gymnosperms and finally the mighty higher flowering plants of all sorts. I mean tall trees, small herbs and a variety of crop plants. Their morphology, taxonomy, ecology, physiology and biochemistry and their interactions with other organisms including humans might have made you to understand and imbibe the essence of botany in its holistic perspective and attain confidence that you will face the world now head on. You also now had good background knowledge of chemistry and zoology. I am very happy with you and what you have learned. You were teacher and incidentally my old student Dr. Jayakar Bhandari has briefed me what all you did in these three bygone years. Student friends, what lays ahead for you now after BSc? Many of you might desire to do higher studies in certain specialized branches of plant sciences. Indeed, it's a very good thinking. I suggest you choose a course which fits your interest and will also be a very challenging one. Today, you have very good postgraduate programs in modern botany run by IASC and IITs besides the state and central universities. Please go to respective websites and search for details of your needs. Also prepare well and write needful examination of the course offered by the institution you have chosen to get in. It will be very rewarding because several of those front-run high-tech courses also offer you attractive student fellowships with which you can complete the course without burdening your parents. There are dedicated institutions which offer special need-based and appropriate courses with which you can also do good good PG program. Besides, I believe based on what you have learnt in BSc Botany, Chemistry, Zoology, you can also make efforts to initiate some interesting startup entrepreneurship such as organic farming, plant nurseries, biofertilizer production unit, aquaculture, mushroom cultivation and similar ones. All you need is a good, well thought plan and innate desire. While I went to do higher studies in the 1970s after completion of my graduation in botany and post-graduation in biosciences, a few of my contemporaries from BSc and MSc classes chose to stay back and venture their own enterprises involving organic farming, large-scale agriculture and even horticulture. They became noted entrepreneurs as years passed. Eventually, it is one's focused thinking, determination and hard work. You will certainly be successful. I give one or two examples from my own known people. Post-retirement, I spent a couple of months every year as visiting professor in Meifulwang University, Chingrai, Thailand, where I co-guide several students in applied mycology, my area of specialization. Mycology, the study of fungi, is a fascinating subject in plant sciences. One of my doctoral students from Kunming in China, who studied mushroom cultivation in Thailand and to whom I was a co-guide, soon after completion of the course started large-scale cultivation of mushrooms as a profession and today he is one of the leading producers of edible mushrooms of all kinds in Yunnan province, China. I visited his mushroom establishment in 19. 2017. It's an amazing effort that he is doing. Similarly, a Thai girl student hailing from Bangkok, soon after completion of studies commenced large-scale farmhouse cultivation of caterpillar fungus cordyceps sinensis 
it is a well known immunomodulant fungus in a time like this where covid-19 is ravaging around the world and causing havoc to human health ready immune booster is of great help the, today the world is offering unique kind of challenges from nowhere the current pandemic crisis arose and post problems such as shortage of food nutritive food and imminent need of life saving drugs countries around the world are working round the clock to find a suitable remedy for the malady in hand in a time like this fungus based immune boost developed by a student in thailand has great relevance in the absence of target specific vaccines such as viral such viral infections can be contained only by enhancing our body immune system besides edible mushrooms such as button mushroom and oyster mushrooms with high protein content in them can also be good immune boosters cultivation of such mushrooms in large scale and making available to all in the society can easily be handled by botany graduates such as you all you need to look is to look for something new out of box idea this is my advice i am very happy with you and feel equally proud of dr jack bandari and his colleagues who taught you all along your successful completion of the degree course is a measuring scale of their efforts i am sure that all of you will do well in the forthcoming examination and come out with the flying colors your high grade success is a great way for your future i wish all of you a great success with fond greetings jai hind